we got another time in some video guys um getting drunk and high at the same time y'all know how it is when you're in high school tim be doing some crazy things right at i miss you loyal let's get into the video guys so i look to my side and niggas are empty in the building like roaches oh i got a dip so i hop out the window get to my whip and dip <laughs> college mm. The one place you can finally be free from your parents. Come on, my guy. You know kids only go to college for one reason. To get paid. Uh. Sure, you're supposed to further your education and all, but fam. It's like they say you only live once. Now, when it comes to your boy, I couldn't wait to get to college. But before beginning college, you gotta get through high school. Which means you're still under your parents' rules. Now, my parents were anything but cool. See, just like any household, we had rules. Rule number one, no illegal substances, meaning no lighting up that leaf, and of course, no drinking that juice. Rule number two, no sneaking out. When the sun goes down, sit your ass down. Which leads to rule number three, on the weekends, curfews 9 p.m. Not 9.01, not 9.39 p.m. on the dot, my guy. Not following the rules was simple because I broke each rule. I snuck out the crib, parted after curfew, and of course, spaced out all in the same day. And that's where this story begins. So for this story, I'ma take you back, back to the day I broke all the house rules. Oh, so it was a Friday you. afternoon. Now this was early spring, meaning the weather was warming up. Now when the weather warms up, kids can't wait to come outside. We talking house parties, pool parties, school dances, everything a teenager looks forward to. So I was on my way home, then my homie Derek was like, yo Tim, you heard about a college party popping off this weekend? Nah, when? Saturday night, kid. You trying to sneak in? Now asking a teenager if he wants to sneak into a college party and shoot his shots at college girls. On God. I remember going to college parties. It was lit. It was lit, y'all. I know y'all been to college parties. Some of y'all, I don't know. Put it in the comments, y'all, if y'all have. Oh, man. Damn, Tim. The party's this weekend, which means it probably doesn't start until midnight. Oh, man. Pop's going to kill me if i sneak out yo tim you coming or what i don't know man bro you're not scared to sneak out well okay cool i'll be there so i get to the crib and start contemplating my next move see here's the obstacles i gotta find a way to sneak out the house get to the party and get back home before my parents wake up caught. okay tim you need a good solid plan something mom and dad won't see coming then it hit me see all i had to do was play sleep wait until my parents went to bed steal my dad's car and get back before sunrise easy right so onward and it's saturday night now as usual my parents will go to sleep early right about nine o'clock okay good night son wow tim must have been really tired okay tim everybody's going to sleep it's go time so to create the illusion that i'm still in bed i stuffed my bed full of pillows then came the icing on the cake see to keep my parents from having any suspicion i recorded a tape of me snoring that way i could play it when i'm going just in case anyone walked down the dang hall. tim went the extra mile over here making making little little sounds making it seem like he's snoring he could doing that off his laptop however he does it Hallway. leaving no doubt your boy was dead asleep then came the hardest part stealing my dad's car so i got to the whip put it on neutral and started pushing it down the driveway uh, uh, damn man i better get some tonight started pushing it down the driveway Onward, and your boy gets to the party yo so this is what a college party looks like damn that's a lot of people look at all them cars it's packed what's up Tim? Man, I thought you wouldn't go show. Yo, where the shorties at? Fam, it's packed in there. Come on, we're about to turn up. So we get inside the building. Now, if you've ever been to a we college party, you know up. the scent in the air. Smells a little earthy, a little herbal, some might say. So let's just say homie could barely see in front of him. Damn, <laughs> I can barely see. Yo, Tim, this way. Now, since your boy's a little thirsty, we decided to drink some of that homemade punch. Now, kids, rule number one, never drink anything you didn't pour but it's an innocent college party what could go wrong so i sip some of that juice Ooh, damn damn kid this juice is hitting what's in it man i don't know but we about to get lit so i sip a little bit more now laying next to the drinks were a couple of some good old homemade brownies damn i 
I am a little hungry too. Yo, Derek, they got snacks too? Yo, damn, kid, these college parties are the shit. Everything's free. So my guy Derek picks a brownie, cuts me a piece, and we both take a bite. Mmm, how It's an edible. Got a little I kick to it. I already know. What? Yo, they got another one? Nah, kid, that was the last one. Now. The party was warming up. We got drinks, got a little bit of snacks. Now the only thing left was the shorties. All right, Tim, don't be nervous. Just act cool. And these girls will think you're in college. Yo, everybody, it's the cops. See, as usual, the music was playing too loud, causing the neighbors to call oh, the police. Out. Now, you got to remember, this is a... I remember one time I was at uh, a college party, and the cops showed up, and everybody was, like, running out the house. I did experience that. It was crazy, y'all. A college party. Odds are half. Maybe one day I'll do a story time. Just maybe. The kids are not of legal age. So I look to my side and niggas are emptying the building like roaches. Oh, sh I got a dip. So I hop out the window, get to my whip, and dip. <laughs> Still asleep, gotta be discreet. So I use the back door to get in, get to my room, and lay on my bed. Oh man, that was crazy. Then shit got real. Now, what? in case you didn't know, rule number two never eat anything you didn't bring at a party. See, you remember those brownies, right? Well, it just so happened the kid ate some special brownies, and boy, was I starting to feel it. Now, my god, the kid was entering what's called getting cross faded. Oh, what the f I'm bugging. Feels like what? I'm floating in the air. Okay, Tim, something's not right. Just keep it cool and don't panic. Get it together. Oh, sh was that a monkey? Oh, no, 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 no. Now I know I'm bugging. Who is knocking on the door this late at night? Hello, sir. Can I help you, officer? Aww. Is your son home? Of course he is. Well, I think this belongs to him. I don't understand. See, while your boy was hopping out the window, I happened to drop my wallet on the ground. Damn! Thank you, officer. Hey, you have a good it's night. It's wallet. Tim, get up. Oh, shh. Get it together, Tim. Can't let Pop see you like this. Boy, have you been partying tonight? Now, here's the thing. See, those brownies started kicking in hard. <laughs> Pops, your head looks crazy. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had an experience with inedible. Maybe I'll do a story time on that. <laughs> yeah, I never noticed you got a peanut never, head, kid. Never again, though. Never. Well, are you losing your mind? What's so funny? Check this out, old man. I was about to get something tonight. You feel me? Boy, are you hot? <laughs> hot? Oh no, pops. I'm fucked up. Yo, pops, come here for real. Just between me and you. How much? Getting in high school. Now, by this time, my daddy figured it out. Your boy was faded. So he let me down and let me go to sleep. On to the next day. I wake up late in the afternoon. Damn, I've been asleep for 12 hours? So you up now? Um, yeah. Now help me understand this. You snuck out, broke rule number one, after curfew. Then you stole my car, Grand Theft Auto. And then you got intoxicated. Possession of illegal substances and a minor. Very impressive, but... He doesn't end there. You got the police knocking at my door. I did, but I don't remember. You know what? I'ma let you choose your punishment. So if you were me, what would you do? Okay, Tim, this is one of those tricky Jedi <laughs> mind tricks. So think fast. Can't see a whooping. Oh, no, 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 I don't want that. But can't say nothing easy. Dad, if I was you, I would ground me. Now, grounding made sense to me. I got a little punishment and at the same time, I didn't get my ass beat. But <laughs> we all know my pops ain't falling for that. So now we're about to enter everyone's favorite part of the story. The black love. <laughs> but oh no, no, no. Not this time. See, this is special. Now we've entered the you don't know who you're f***ing with. Oh, you a man now. No, dad. Well, you should have thought about that before making a grown if you become the victim of gate seat theft while waiting to make a connecting flight, call the law offices of Putsky and Bubkus. Oh man, decision. Uh, ah! uh, so, moral of the story. Yeah, life fight. is a matter of choices, and every choice you make. Yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. If y'all want me to do a story time, put it in the comments. I'm out.